we were looking at the integration of the arts as an, a tool for engagement and for solidifying standards. And so Leslie Castellano and I began to work together. We created a grant and this year we launched modules and these modules were related to a variety of different visual and performing art standards. And in particular, this one was our mural project. This is a swallowtail butterfly. Leslie Castellano with the Ink People came to us with a grant for school beautification and we figured what place could use some artwork more than a school so we, we jumped on board. And so this is ultimately where both our third grade classes and two of our fourth grade classes joined in this project with Lucas and Blake in order to create a mural for our garden. Um, they had to look at scale, so they looked at mathematical standards as well as they wrote about what types of things are in their environment that they would like reflected on our mural. We started with some presentations and some brainstorming with some of the third and fourth graders. We got all their ideas collected on a list and then me and Lucas Thornton, we collaborated together and kind of sketched something out together that was cohesive and it went with a garden mural theme along with their school mottos of care for others, care for self and care for the earth. And so that was the theme of the mural. Uh, we brought the design in in kind of a color book form in just black lines and we used a projector in uh, one of the rooms here and the children went along and they drew along the lines on the panels so which was really fun for them because they got to kind of see all the areas where it's going to be and then once we turn the lights back on they could say oh wow there's the image. After that we worked on the design a little more and then we brought it down and luckily the weather was good so we got to set up outside and we had around a hundred kids painting on the mural. There was a lot of wrangling and coaching and we had a lot of help from the school staff and everyone was really supportive and helped to make it happen. I painted that. I painted this. Jace painted that. I painted the grass. It was very fun because I got to help out with my friends and paint the mural. We ended up painting some animals, a farmer, and some plants. The garden is kind of like playing on the, like, the sides, so I'm really excited to see it more colorful. What we would do is we would mix some colors for them, and then we'd give them a paintbrush and tell them, go fill in a spot, or we'd say, oh, the river needs to be blue over here, so fill this all in with blue. But one day we actually um, had them line up and I just asked them what color they wanted right. instead of directing them more like here's the color to use. So right. what color do you want? Like a flavor of ice cream. So like, oh, I want pink. Okay, I'll mix up some pink. Here's some pink. Go paint, you know. And all the children kind of sat up um, along the mural process and um, they were all into it. They got kind of quiet because they were all just working along and um, some of them were more expressive and just slapping paint all over the place. But it was it was great to see all of them working together. I think over time we've learned that uh, we do have a crisis of engagement in our classrooms right now. And art actually is a complex structure that allows us to engage people with things that are fun. So it, it engages all parts of the, both sides of my hemispheres. And I'm more engaged and I am more connected to the work that I do. It was just wonderful. It was fantastic. The painting is really beautiful and I just love it. I don't know, I've never just like participated in a mural before so this is Pretty cool. Another element of it is belonging is a huge element to our schools and where we are, what matters to us, being connected to where we are helps us learn and so this project is also a belonging project. The students have direct ownership about every single thing that's on this mural. It was exciting. I think it was really inspirational for the kids. Um, they got to see that you can do anything as an adult, you know, making art. Uh, making your surroundings more beautiful and it shows we're kind of in control of our surroundings a little bit. It's uh, really an honor to have work here because I know that not just the, f the first students that we worked with uh, are going to enjoy it, but um, generations of kids that come through this school are going to enjoy it and it's going to inspire them. 
They got to watch what an expert does, the level of excellence that an expert wants to see, the way an expert does their work. And so that's role modeled to every single student that went through that project. Um, they became very much connected, I think, to community. These are members of our community and we are showing our students who they live in this community with. Um, and so that's also a connection to something bigger than themselves.